Hi, welcome to my system. Uh, we were making tutorials about Polyvar, MPD, and then NCM PCP PP. And then I thought, hey, let's put in my external hard drive and see if I can get to my music. So here is a folder music Eric 1, and I would like to play that one in NCM PCP PP. Now, I wanted to delete these things here. And I said, what, what's this? Let's delete it. And I can't delete it. So let's make first a tutorial about external hard disk drives and their permissions, how to fix it. So if we open this up and say, give me an LS, then it gives us this. But better is, oops, LS minus AL. So you see already what's going wrong. This is the one and only that's bit better that's to say that there is here an Eric and an Eric and all the rest is another account so of course I cannot um, change it or edit or anything I cannot do anything by the way this data thing here was just automatically loaded so automatically added if that's an issue then we have GNOME disks installed for you guys and that's this application and you can say to any hard disk drive I'm amazed it's a 3.0 terabyte, but it is still not free. And you can do stuff here, unmount and do elements. You can try to, to mount it if it's not automatically mounted. But my problem is not automatic mount. My problem is that it's I'm not the boss of it. I'm, I'm, I cannot delete stuff. I cannot make folders. I can make folders inside music Eric one. It seems that here I am a little bit more um, I can do some more stuff, but when you investigate a little bit further, then again, there's somebody else who is the boss. I'm not uh, UTMP, I am Eric. So I have to fix it anyway. Now, when things are mounted in your system, it's going to be mounted in run, media, and then your name, login name, and then a given name that you created uh, for your uh, hard disk drive, your external hard disk. So this is actually the folder that's, um, uh, well, that's actually on your system. And now we go ahead and see if we can find the answer online. So Google Chrome, whoa, a lot of stuff opening up. Let me delete some things here. That's it. Let's look for how to change user group in Linux. How to change primary group, how to add the user to a group, add user to a group, how to change the user primary group. How to change, hmm, maybe a bad search. So how to change user and then folder and then Linux how to change user directory Linux how to change well let's see how this is no change folder permission and ownership that's actually what I needed to have um, that's the expression you need to Google change folder permissions and ownership so the change ownership shown and change modus to change the rights that's what we need and we have these lines here sudo change ownership minus r so let's have a look what this is all right okay we're off again to explore some more so is it possible to go and see if we can get this information online so by online, I mean in your system. You know now two commands that you need to figure out. So change ownership, change file owner and group. And they say here minus R. So you go and look and say, what is this minus R? It's most of the time recursive. Not always minus R is recursive, but most of the time it is. So it means that when you say take this folder then every file and folder inside is as well changed to that group or user or anything so recursive all the way down so that's a good option and the other one is change modus so change mod 
and change file mode bits meaning this manual changes what can we see here whether it's going to be executable for instance readable writable so we call it the well there is a name you can remember Hugo I always teach that to my students there is this guy and it's called Hugo forget about the H then you leave you have still U, G and O for the user, the group and the others. And then you have the read and the write and execute. This, so these three here, read, write, execute. So those are things we, well, basic things we should know when working with Linux, if something goes wrong like this. Okay, so we are here. What if we go one up? Then we have data there. It's from root. I was thinking we can actually make data already from this level up or a level down. So I'm going to try from this level up already and say, look, I'm going to change the ownership recursively from Eric. That's my username and the group is Eric. And I'm going to take this folder and then it's going to take a while and it's not working why is it not working because i'm not permitted to do it so Control c why i'm not permitted because i'm not the root owners i'm not the administrator I'm not the boss of things and that's it now all the files and all the folders need to have uh, need to be changed so um, it's gonna take a while and a while meaning it's done <laughs> it's incredible linux but it's really, really a lot. So 406 gigabytes is, is a lot, but it's done. Everything is changed. We can have a look now if anything is changed. So right mouse click, I can create a folder. So everything is working as it should be working. Hopefully I can delete these stupid things as well as to the trashes and that one invalid argument. I can't delete that one, but all the rest I can delete and clean up my, my stuff. I don't know what all these things is oh, a lot of old stuff i see so um okay anyway problem solved let's have a look so ls minus al now eric is the user eric is here uh, in charge and the group eric is here in charge if we go inside data and we have also this one all the bosses are correct now so all Eric, 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 and I could have, I could, um, yeah, I'm just looking at this one here. So a W, a strange color, this green thing, probably due to the right. That's the only difference that, for instance, this one and that one, what they have, the only difference is this right for the others. So we can get rid, get rid of that as well if you want to and see if that is actually the reason why. So seven, if the thing binary, read is four, write is two, execute is one. So read, write, write execute is for me. That's okay, seven for so the users. The group is read and execute. So that's four and one, that's five. And I'm gonna take also five for the others. And in music, Eric one, it says another RWX meaning seven. So I'm gonna change that one and see if the color also changes them. Like so, no, not like so. And indeed, that was the only issue or issue. Um, it's, it's just, uh, we're safe. This, this is just an external hard drive on my machine that I pop in and pop out, so. It's it's lies mostly in my closet, so we're safe anyway. But that's how we uh, change our modus. So telling who can write, execute, and read, write, execute. Okay, that's done, and I hope uh, you learned something. And if not, there will be probably better hits if you take this one. So this is a better Google sentence change folder permission and ownership is the best text line you could ever type in and see what else you can find and learn from people
online online here right cheers